Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I'm going to do some restoration work on the image that is here on our screen. She's a nice looking subject, and I think that there are a number of things we can do to help the image out. I'd like to get rid of the oval effect. Uh, there's some issues with her hair that we can correct. The main thing is that it's very dark, and I would like to see what we can do to lighten her face up and give it a little bit more life. So the first thing that I'm going to do is noting that it is 512 by 512 pixels and very low resolution. I'm going to go ahead and upscale it to 2048 by 2048. So we'll let that process. And here we go. So we're going from before to after. If you look at her face, her eyes, before, after, and then if you look at the lace even in her sleeve, it becomes much more clear. So we'll call that a success. And I'll go ahead here and open that up in Photoshop. Great. So let's see if we can get in here and deal with the issue with her hair, where we have this big flyaway section that's really going to stand out if we don't address it right now. So let's see if we can take care of it just with one remove swipe like that. Great, I think that did a decent enough job. We won't really know until we start to lighten things up here, but let's see what we can do now to get rid of the oval. So I'm actually going to use the, instead of trying to do a content aware fill or a generative fill, I'm actually going to also use the remove tool and I'm going to use it like so. I'm going to hold it down the entire time while I come here, cut in as tightly to her arm as possible. I want to get that white spot there. Perfect. Come up over here. Try to get as much of the space as possible. And I'm really hoping that this is going to do what I want, which is get rid of the oval. Um, I have tried this previously, by the way, using a lasso tool and generative fill, and it wasn't very successful. So I'm hoping that this is going to be. So that did just as I was hoping. It provided a nice flat studio type background and that's exactly what I was hoping to achieve with this. I really don't want to have any sort of a uh, background of any kind behind her other than just some flatness because she is so um, near in the depth of field and she just needs to be the only subject. So we've made some decent progress at this point. The next thing that I would like to do to see if we can brighten things up. And I'm going to start here with image adjustments and shadows and highlights. And watch what happens as soon as I turn this on based on this previous settings I had, we should see an instant pop in brightness and we should be able to achieve some lightening of things without blowing out the whites and oversaturating things, losing definition. Our goal here is to increase definition by reducing the amount of shadow, but not making it lifeless by just making everything look white. So let's check out so far. Here's before, here's after. We can also adjust the color, which for a black and white image like this tends to go between being mostly grayscale to up here being sepia and way beyond sepia in terms of warmth. So for coloring purposes, I find that it's better to have it quite low down here We'll see if the mids adjustment will do anything. Again, I want the side of the face lightened, but I want it to be natural. Let's check out our before and our after. So I think we got some nice definition happening here. I'm going to accept that and I'm quite happy with things. So the next phase is going to be colorizing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a PNG file and we will export it over to the website palette.fm. 
because on palette FM, we're going to be able to try the image with a number of different color palettes. So let's go over to palette FM and we will upload our image, which is over here. And the way that palette FM works is it's first going to have a look at the file and with the AI determine some nice color schemes for it. Um, so here is what they're calling the base palette. Let's try a few others, vivid, natural, warm glow. I'm going to jump way up here to the end because there are two that usually have a nice outcome, ambient historic and vintage charm. And we'll jump back here to the beginning. So base palette, it's added a lot of red tinting to the hair, which is not ideal. Vivid natural looks even more like a strawberry, warm glow. It's just not great, too warm, I would say. That's, I'm hoping that one of these is not going to really overemphasize the redness. And these really both are. I'm not that happy with this. I'm actually going to give it another shot and see if another round will achieve a different result because it has done for me in the past. Let's see whether or not we can get an image without it just being blown out with red. I hope so. It would really help this image out would be a nice coloriz colorization job on it. So there, that's more natural looking. I actually like that quite a bit. I am going to go all the way back to the end though. And let's try again with ambient historic and vintage charm because they also tend to offer very nice skin tones, one being sort of cooler in color than the other, but here we're getting our strawberry milkshake back. So in the end, the base palette on that second run was a decent choice. So we'll go ahead and download that image and let's have a look at it. So what we're going to see when we zoom in here is that it's even more pixelated than what we started with because our original image was 512 by 512. This one is actually 500 by 500 is what the output from Palette FM is. So the goal now is to get the color from here and put it over here on our high resolution without bringing over the resolution. So we're going to select all, copy, come over here to our high res version and then paste that in here. Command or control T rather to transform and I'll bring it right up to this corner and right down to this corner and we're going to see that once I change the overlay mode from normal to color that is exactly what it's going to do. It's going to use only the color. Let's see, here's the black and white, and here's our color version. Black and white color. So you can see that unlike over here, we don't, we ha don't have the pixelation. We have achieved our goal of coloring on our high-res image. Excellent. So in the end, I think that we've done a great job on this image. We got her out of her oval frame. We lighten things up considerably, and I think that she's looking much better overall. It even seems like she's got more of that Mona Lisa smile back. So if you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them. And with that, I will see you the next time.